There's been some amazing free kicks scored by some of the world's greatest footballers since the start of modern football. From Ronaldo's knuckleball to Carlos's curving free kick, there are some goals that we'll probably never see the likes of again. So today I attempted to recreate some of the most iconic free kicks ever. First up today we have arguably the most famous free kick ever which is of course David Beckham's goal against Greece in 2001 to send England to the World Cup. So we headed down to the pitch and did our best to recreate it. Alright so first up today we have David Beckham's strike against Greece in 2001 to take England to the World Cup. Just a straightforward strike into the top left corner over the wall but we're going to give it our best shot anyway. Alright attempt one of the David Beckham free kick. Alright, attempt three, we've gotten really close already, so I think we're going to be able to hit it in the next couple of attempts. Have it. The thing about this free kick is that Beckham hit it with so much power that it didn't really loop like a normal curving free kick into the top left, it just kind of flew in. So if we want to go for a perfect recreation today, we have to hit it with a lot more power than just loft. And now you made it, but I already played this, not interested. Open your eyes, let's get it done, take my hand. I mean, it's a decent free kick. <laughs> it's just not funny anymore. I mean, we probably couldn't get any closer at this point, so I'm just going to keep hammering them in and hopefully we get one that's close enough to Beckham's goal at this point. See that ball there? I'm gonna hit that with the next attempt. Nope. Come dance, never cast for Danny G. So it was around this point that we had really nailed down the technique of this free kick but we were just missing out on the perfectly placed hit. After coming back for day two our attempts were getting even closer but we were still missing out on the perfect shot in the top corner. But on our 95th attempt, we finally hit this. Back to the deflection. It is a corner. Well, we feel there are certain moments of destiny. Arguably the most recognisable footballer in the world. Yes! Yes for England! David Beckham has done it! Big time! I don't know how many hours that took, but that was perfect. So next up today, we couldn't make a video recreating iconic free kicks without Cristiano Ronaldo's knuckleball against Portsmouth. This one is undoubtedly one of Ronaldo's best ever goals, so let's try it out. It's a chilly one. Let's hope attempt one today can go a tiny bit better than the Beckham one. Team guys time. So that was probably our first good hit of the day, but if we can just get it that bit more over, it's gonna be perfect. If that went any higher in the goal, it would have been the perfect recreation. We are so close right now. If I can just direct one of these in the top corner, we're gonna have it. I'm not gonna do it like that. Pow! Right in the kitchen! So 
So it was about this point that we were really struggling to get any real consistency behind these knuckleballs, but on attempt 71, we hit this. At the time I was convinced that I'd hit a perfect recreation, but looking back at it now, the ball just doesn't stick in the top corner like Ronaldo's does. So we went back again for day two. All right, I'm not leaving the pitch today until we actually hit this Ronaldo free kick. It's gonna happen. So day two ended up going a lot better than day one. Our technique started to get a lot more consistent and we were so close to recreating Ronaldo's free kick. And then after 188 long attempts, we finally took this free kick. So finally today, the third goal we'll be recreating is Roberto Carlos's iconic free kick against France. This one is truly a once in a lifetime free kick, so let's see if I can recreate it. Alright Roberto Carlos free kick, I am going to limit myself to just 50 attempts for this free kick, mainly because I do want to finish this video this year. But anyway, 50 attempts, let's give it our best go. So yeah, after taking a couple shots with my left foot, it became pretty clear that I wasn't going to get anywhere near Carlos's technique. So for the sake of your guys' entertainment, I decided to just take the free kicks with my right foot and then flip the footage afterwards. Even taking these free kicks with my right foot, I really struggled to get a grasp of the Carlos technique with these free kicks. We did get some relatively close attempts, but it was such a task to get anything close to the greatness of Carlos's free kick. That could be the closest we're getting today. All right, last three attempts. But with our final attempts, that brought an end to our efforts of recreating Carlos's free kick. So after a few long days of taking free kicks, we successfully managed to recreate two out of the three most iconic free kicks. But anyway guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. If you did enjoy it, please like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.